everyone, it's Angie. So today I have um, an unbagging for you again from uh, the company DIY Digital Art. Now they have a plethora of crafting uh, kits and um, items and they have diamond painting as well as cross stitch and they have some pretty cool not um, you know off canvas uh, diamond painting type items as well. So I did get one cross stitch kit. We're going to look at that first. Um, and honestly, to be honest with you, it's fine that it's a cross stitch kit. I, I enjoy cross stitch quite a bit. Um, but when I looked at this, I was looking under new arrivals and I didn't realize it was a cross stitch kit. I thought I was getting a diamond painting, but that's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. So this looks to be an 11 count kit, which means there are 11 squares per inch that you put your crosses into. This is the pre-printed canvas. I love pre-printed canvases, and it's a girl holding an apple in the woods. Now, this is a full coverage kit, meaning every place that's yellow on here is actually going to be black. So you are going to be doing a ton of black, in fact, they gave you this whole hank of black thread um, because you're going to need so much. Is it black or is it navy blue? It's navy blue. It's not even black. What? It's 939. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be like the night sky. That'll be cool. Here are our other threads, thread colors. There are 27 total colors, which is a decent amount. It's going to give you a decent amount of detail. Um, these seem to be fine. They don't seem too uh, burry or furry. Uh, sometimes threads, if uh, if they're not silky enough, they can get um, um, kind of furry when you're pulling them in and out of your fabric and then it doesn't look as good on your work. But these seem to be nice and silky. So that's good. And then we've got, you know, our big... Thing of 939 so this is a picture of what it's going to look like when it's finished and I just thought that was very cool very very cool so um, yeah so that's that's that I have talked ad nauseum um, about doing stamped cross stitch and how to um, identify the colors on the uh, legend and match them up with your canvas and um, also one thing I will just mention too in case you know you haven't seen any of those videos um, of my other stamp cross stitch unboxings when you're finished with your project you do soak this canvas and all of this printing comes off so you won't have that you don't have to worry about that showing through in the background it all washes away so that is the first item that I have. And now the rest are going to be diamond painting. So stick with me. Thanks for thanks for uh, for being patient and, and let me show that first because I know most of you are here for diamond painting. So let's get into the diamond paintings. So I've got three canvases and then one off canvas item. We'll save that for last. So this first one is a partial special drill. And it has 18 different drill types. And isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, I am not necessarily a rabbit person, but I saw this and just all of the flowers within the rabbit and the different drill types that are going to go in there just really grabbed my attention and it's gonna look so cute love it so it does come with a toolkit with tweezers some people like to place their special drills with tweezers I, I'm not particularly um, you know maybe some of the bigger ones uh, but um, does come with tweezers the toolkit does along with a boat a pen and a plate of wax you should always get that with any diamond painting kit that you purchase 
And let's take a look at these drills and let's see what we've got. 18 different drill types. For a 30 by 30, that's quite a bit. That's going to really, really make this thing pop. And oh my goodness, this is so cool. I see all different shapes, styles, fashions. This is going to be really cool. Okay, so we've got like this purpley color. It's not quite purple, but it's not quite blue. Periwinkle, we'll call it. Then purple crystals. Then we have some uh, pink marquees. Then look at those pink pearl buttons. Those are so cute. We've got some peach crystals, some large lavender crystals, some clear crystal, some red, some medium-sized pink crystal, some very dark blue crystals, black regular resin drills. So I bet you his eye and some other places in here are going to be that just black regular resin drills, which is cool. Uh, some lime green, some larger clear, some blue, like true blue, lots and lots of pink. Then we have these very large pearl white buttons and some medium sized pearl white buttons and some yellow, lots of yellow. There, there's a lot of yellow there. So that's going to, that's going to be so cute, isn't it? And I thought for Easter, that'll just be an adorable little uh, painting to hang up um, to decorate for Easter. I know we're not even near that at now, but, you know, you can never be too early. Or for any time, really, for spring, just, you know, for, or for any reason. If you're a rabbit lover, we've got lots of rabbit lovers. And this is a nice, soft, pliable canvas. Those wrinkles are going to, they're going to wear right out of there. No worries at all about that. All right, moving along, moving along. We got to keep it moving, right? Keep it moving. Okay, this one is a full drill diamond painting, and it is a 30 by 40. And it seems big for a 30 by 40. Doesn't that seem a little bit bigger than average? This is, you know, I've done a couple of diamond paintings like this or similar to this that are just designs and they have turned out amazing. I have no doubt that this one is going to turn out just as amazing. Right, test the stick. It's at it's average stickiness. It's, you know, not super sticky, but it's not unsticky if that's a word. I don't think that's a word. I just made it a word. I'm trying to get this to lay a little bit flatter for us. Um, because I want you to see the detail in it because it's highly detailed. And, and I mean that in a good way, um, not in a way where that it's not going to show up. But the pattern is just an abstract. I got a little bit of glare from my window there. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. I love this. 23 colors. That's a good amount of colors. And it is confetti heaven. So if you're a fan of confetti, this would be the one for you. Um, but isn't that just, oh, uh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Like I said, I've done a, a few different abstract shape diamond paintings, and they've all turned out incredible. And I have no doubt that this one will as well. I just, I really like this. I really, really do. Uh, yeah, this is a hit. This is definitely a hit. Got your toolkit there. Didn't need to see that. And oh my gosh, the colors. Look at these drills, you guys. Then another thing to write home about is these drills are pre-bagged. Woo woo. This is a heavy bag of drills for a 30 by 40. Um, so I'm thinking they gave me a, a ample, ample supply. And I am going to go through these colors. Usually I I don't, but just because this is such a colorful diamond painting, I want us to see all of the colors. So there's quite a bit of this beautiful rosy red, some deep, deep purple. That's probably 154. Yep, 154. Do I know my DMC or do I know my DMC? Dark forest green. 
uh, that's like a smoky rose, gray, red red, 321 red, grayish blue, beige, purple, purple nurple, yellow, gold, navy, hunter green, dark brown, orange, brown, salmon, teal, Elizabeth pink, blue, blue, yellow, and beige. Now, if you know, I've had people ask me about Elizabeth pink. There's a story behind Elizabeth pink. I have a subscriber who has been with me since the very, very beginning of my channel. And her and I were joking one day that why do Hunter and, um, uh, who's the other, um, and, um, uh, Hunter and, who's the other, what's the other color? Anyways, why do those people get colors named after them? Um, why are they so special? So I decided to um, name a color after Elizabeth. So now from then on, I, I always call that pink Elizabeth pink. Love this. Oh, I want to do this one. I, I want to do this one. This one's really, really pretty. That's on my short list. Now, don't ask me how long my short list is because it's pretty long, but that's on my short list. So colorful and pretty. All right, let's see if I can get into this one. I like the way I'm getting more and more of these lately where the drills are coming pre-bagged and I gotta say, I'm not mad, not mad about it. I say that and then this one comes regular drills, which is fine, 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 fine. I don't have a problem with them being coming that way. I saw this and I it just screamed It just screamed spring to me and summer, and I had to have it. Um, beautiful, beautiful use of color. That one's very sticky, um, stickier than that first one. Not that there was anything wrong with the stick on that first one, but this one is, is very sticky. Okay, try to get that to lay flat. This is a 30 by 30 stained glass butterfly. It only has 16 colors. Wow, it seems like it has more than that. But it is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous use of those colors. Uh, this is very, it's simple, but it's beautiful. I love, I just like it. I like it, something about it just really struck me and I, I really like this one. I don't think that this was a newer one on their site. I always look at new arrivals first, um, but it really, I don't know how I missed it in the past because that's a good one. And the colors, let's see these colors. <gasps> look at that pink. Oh, that is beautiful. What DMC code is that? 152. I'm not sure how often I've had that color. That's a beautiful color. Then we've got deep purple, teal, black, uh, some dark, dark rose, almost bordering on cranberry, some hunter green, some beige, lilac, light turquoise, uh, army green, very light butter yellow, some like almost pea soup green. That's a interesting color choice. Um, dark brown, dark brown, turquoise, and purple. But those colors are just going to look so great together. I just, I wish I could put this in a way, look at those colors along, look at those colors with that. Isn't that going to be great? So pretty. So, so pretty. All right. So that is the last canvas that I have, but I do have one more off canvas item 
And this is something that I've been wanting to try for some time. And I just decided to do it. So let's see what I got for my last item. Okay, so here it is. I got earrings. That's right, diamond painted earrings. Heck yes, I did. Now, these are not going to be made with any kind of, you know, high quality metal for the hooks. So this isn't going to be something that I'm going to be able to wear, you know, for a long time because I have a little bit sensitive of ears, um, pierced ears, but I can wear them for a little while. And they are, wow, that's great. They're diamond painted on the front and the back. So you do diamond paint both sides. So when they're dangling and they, you know, tilt or twist around, you can see both sides. I love this one. It's like a pinwheel. Love that one. And then it came in a set of two. And this is the other set, kind of a circular rainbow. Also very, very cute. I can think of some cute outfits that I have that would go with that. Very cute. So let's take a look at our drills and see how many different drill types we have and um, see what they're going to look like. I want to see what the predominant colors are going to be. Ooh. Now we do have some mixed, uh, we do have some regular drills, regular resin drills, as well as, um, as well as crystals. So we've got some large, where are these going to go? Some large green crystals. Oh, I bet you those go around this circle. Okay, so those are going to be predominantly green. Then we have clear crystals. Then we have, ooh, where are these going to go? There's a lot of them. Teeny weeny emerald green slivers. Those are beautiful. What, where do those go? Why? I don't even see a why. Oh, yes, I do. All around the inside of this, um, all around the inside of that circle is that, is why. They're very teeny. Then we have some teeny uh, regular slivers, regular clear crystal slivers, some regular black, so that's going to be our background of the earrings, some black resin. Some larger size yellow crystals, some even larger size clear crystal, some ice blue, red, green, and then a larger size red. So it looks like these are going to be kind of like Jamaican looking with the red and the green and the yellow. Uh, and then the other ones are going to be more of a blue and green uh, theme going for them. So I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to give them a try and I will be sure to take a picture or a short video and let you guys see what they look like on. Um, they have several varieties to choose from. So if these aren't your cup of tea, maybe there's a different style that is. But I thought they were, you know, kind of cute and they're very lightweight. So, you know, after you put the drills on, they might be a little bit heavier, but they're still, they're not going to be real heavy and pulley on your ears. So I'm pretty, yeah, I'm happy with those. Cute, cute, cute. All right. That's all I've got for today from DIY Digital Art. I'll put the links to all of these items in the description of this video. And uh, feel free to contact me if you have any other questions. As always, I uh, love you guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.